welcome you on our blog, Melanie and Keith and Friends. <laughs> And so they, how did the opposite band do? They, they did good. Elvin was strong, but I think <laughs> towards the end, Elvin was getting a little tired because I wasn't lightening up. I was playing everything I knew. And the first place they assigned me after Texas was the North Pole. The North Pole? I went to the North Pole. I went. Ted Kirsten came up to me and said, you know, you should have been a little bit more respectful of Elvin. It was 8,000 guys up there and five women. She wrote a book with her together about her whole life and it just it's just about to come out these oh, wait, I sure these would like weeks. to get a copy of that one. You shouldn't have been playing so much and playing so strong. You made him work too hard. Oh my God, and I think you're the only jazz musician I ever met. I mean, the only person at all I ever met. I survived 14 sets opposite Elvin. <laughs> well, you survived the North Pole before, right? And I survived the so North Pole. After that? <laughs> I could survive anything. Right. It was, it was, it was, it was. We won't get into that. 5,000. <laughs>